The Art Gallery of Sudbury, in association with Anderson Farm, presents Monet Water Lilies. Today we will be guiding you through a step-by-step -step art lesson inspired by Claude Monet's Water Lilies. We will be creating an art piece with unconventional materials, including household items you can find around your home. But first, a brief history. Claude Monet is a French painter known for his part in the Impressionist movement. He was born in Paris, France in 1840. Before crafting his painting skills, Monet discovered his passion for art through caricature as he would sketch his family and neighborhood locals. In the 1860s, Monet began developing his very own style and this is when he created The Woman in a Green Dress, which was one of his first paintings to gain success. In 1890, he purchased the Gaverny House in France, where he resided with his wife and children. The gardens on this property would later on inspire him to create many of his famous paintings, such as Water Lilies, Impression Sunrise, Japanese Bridge, and many others. Today we will be using Monet's series of Water Lilies as inspiration. Everyone's pieces can look different, as Monet created around 250 different water lily paintings, and not one of them was the same. We will be using unconventional materials such as salt, water, a plastic bag, and markers to recreate the whimsical oil brush strokes of Claude Monet. Observe the following images and allow them to inspire your use of color, texture, and line in today's piece. Now let's get started. First off, you will need a piece of paper. Grab yourself a few markers, one of each color, to help you create your background. You will also need some water, ideally in a spray bottle. If not, we can sprinkle it on later. Any regular salt will do. Grab yourself a Ziploc bag, as this will be used to transfer on your color. Not necessary, but if you have them, oil pastels add a nice touch. Now for the fun part. Place your Ziploc bag over your piece of paper so you know which part you must color in. Grab your markers and start filling in the entirety of the Ziploc bag with different colors. If you are unsure on the placement of your colors, feel free to rewind and take a look at the water lily paintings that were shown earlier on in the video for inspiration. Once you've completed coloring in the Ziploc bag, apply a light mist of water to cover your drawing. Flip over your bag and press the marker ink into the paper. Make sure to press and smudge in all the corners for a full color effect. Peel back your bag and grab your salt. Sprinkle a generous amount all over your piece while it is still wet. This will create faded dots and add texture to your background. If your paper is very wet, feel free to take a napkin or paper towel to dab away any excess water. This will also speed up the drying time. Once your piece is dry, shake off the excess salt into the sink or garbage as it can get a little messy. For the final step, grab your oil pastels, markers, or coloring pencils and begin drawing the details onto your background. I began by drawing green oval-like shapes to create the lily pads. To add depth, I continue drawing oval shapes of varying sizes in a lighter color.
vertical green strokes, I am creating long blades of grass surrounding the pond. Feel free to add different elements such as vines, clouds, water, and so on. Now using my pink, I am adding small flowers sporadically through the lily pads to create the iconic water lily. I like to finish off by going in with some lighter colors such as white or yellow to add some highlights throughout the piece. Et voila! You have created your very own water lily art piece inspired by Claude Monet. Thank you for joining the Art Gallery of Sudbury for the 2021 Water Festival presented by Anderson Farm. Till next time!